Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but I finished the test fitting for the LED Mirage Delta Baroon version. Let's take a look. Let's start with the head. These red parts are for the Fatima's cockpit. She co-pilots the machine from the head. These are the cements I use. The one on the right is Mr. Cement Deluxe, the normal one, but I took the label off because I was curious if the brush touched the bottom. It doesn't. This is the new one piece head and crotch parts. The older versions had multiple pieces for these. The top headpiece and the horn completes the head. Up next is the torso.
always like building the waists on these because the detail looks really cool. I just want to make a note about the armor. It's molded in kind of a translucent white and always appears see-through in art. So I was hoping to try to paint it so it still has that appearance. Thank you. 
legs have options for movable parts or for fixed parts, which is what this translates to. The fixed parts are outlined in red. And there are poly caps for the movable parts. I'll be going with the fixed pose. It also mentions a special runners for the Delta Baroon version. Here you can see the difference. The polycap version has these two notches and the fixed version has one. These are the back armor parts for the lower legs. I've seen a lot of people talk about them being kind of fiddly, but I didn't really think they were that bad personally. This is what they look like attached, but I'll show you in real time how they clip into place. There are little tabs in the back of the black parts that just clip into little notches that are on the leg part. The top piece seems a little easier if you push it in from the top. Unfortunately, they do have these seams in the middle. Continuing with the fixed pose ankles, these do rotate a little bit to the left and right though.
few armor parts have seams like the heels, so I'm not sure about keeping the armor transparent. I'll have to figure that out later. Note that the feet angle to the left or right. This is a pretty common design feature of the IMS kits that help with the cool posture when they're standing. Here's another example of an armor piece that has a seam on it. These are some of the, I believe, upper leg parts. These are more parts that are directional. One side is higher than the other, so make sure you match them up to the correct side. The outer foot armor is also at an angle, so again, match it to the correct side. So I'm gluing these parts from the back. I'm using this liquid cement because this metal tip makes it easier to control compared to the brush type. And I don't want to get any glue on the clear part.
these textured areas are going to be painted black, but it also makes it easier for masking since it's a raised part. So as you may have noticed in the earlier clip, the ankle armor is in multiple parts. I've already glued this, as you can tell by my fingerprint. The manual says not to glue them into place until you finish the rest of the legs. But if you do that, you'd have these seams to deal with after it's already in place, which would be kind of dangerous to the painted parts underneath because you'd have to mask and paint afterwards. I've noticed that you can actually get the part on and off by flexing this part. Still need to be careful not to scratch it when you're installing it but it's much safer than painting and touching it up after mounting it. I need to remove the foot to mount the ankle armor, but I'm not sure if the lower legs are directional, so I'm gonna mark it just in case. bit of the fixed pose parts, the hips. Skipping ahead to the arms and shoulders.
This is one of the bicep armor pieces. It has a couple seams and a thumbprint on mine. It also has a weird seam right down the middle on one side. Still thinking of ideas to fill the armor seams. This poly cap has a little tab that you need to be careful with. It's easy to cut it off, which I actually did on one of the Knight of Gold kits since they share the same parts. If you do accidentally cut it off, it seems to still work okay, but it fits better with it on. These parts are movable, so be careful when you're cementing it. This is the shoulder armor, and it's made from three pieces, so I think there's going to be some inevitable seams here.
have to backtrack a little because I accidentally skipped a couple of steps on the arms. The hands share the same runners as the Knight of Gold, which I built three of, so this part's pretty familiar. This kit includes hands with ball joints in the wrist to hold the spear at a better angle. There are some seams in this little area that look like they're going to be difficult without some kind of modification, but I'll think about that later. These polycaps for the shields have a very slight angle to them, so be sure to pay attention to that. I'd recommend keeping these AKD emblems in the wrapping until you get ready to use them so they don't get scratched. They're really glossy without any kind of top coat.
kit has standard shoulder armor that can be swapped out for parts to hold the shields, like so. They just clip into place. And that's it for the test fitting. The LED Mirage is one of the most iconic 5 star story designs in my opinion, but the shields and big spear take it to another level. I can't wait to get painting on this one, I think it's going to look great. As always, thanks for watching.